I'd like to respectfully acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the unceded and unsurrendered territory of the Wolastikaway people. And good morning, OHS. So it's Friday evening right now. We're waiting for the campers to arrive. We're at camp class. We got Sunny the pony in the background. Super cute. Um, we figured we'd change it up. Last year we had the goats with us. But yeah, we're just down here by the horse field and we're gonna get right into announcements. So, we're in the home stretch and our annual Terry Fox walk will be this Wednesday down at the turf. Remember, the top five fundraising AP classes will get to select a student to participate in an amazing reward. Our next collection is tomorrow during AP, so bring in your dollar to help support this great cause. Remember, anything is possible if we try. So thank you for your life of one minute and 50 seconds to watch the AP video. And um, yeah, that's it for Terry Fox. That'll be happening the walk on Friday this week. So <laughs> here comes Sunny. Any student can make a difference. If you put your mind to it, you can change the world almost. Like you can make so many things happen for people. I don't think I ever thought I would be diagnosed with cancer. You know, you don't know until it hits you that you're like, oh my gosh, I have cancer. I was diagnosed in grade five, so it would have been 10 years old. The year before that, my Nana passed away from lung cancer. So that definitely really scared me, you know, hearing cancer, thinking, Oh my gosh, I'm going to pass away. I'd have to go on chemotherapy and that it would just either shrink the tumor or it would make it stop growing. My tumor did not shrink, but it stopped growing. And honestly, that's all I care about as long as it's just not growing. I would like to thank you students for all your support. You've helped me with so many things. I mean, I'm here today because of you guys and because of the money you have raised. I think the advancements in cancer just do make the future brighter. I mean, they've already come up with, you know, having a shunt to drain my spinal fluids. You know, they've come up with that. So I honestly can see in the future that I will get rid of this tumor and it will be gone because of the money we are raising for cancer research. And know that if you're raising money for something, even if you raise, say, five bucks, you're still making a difference. So the beating club will be starting Tuesday at noon in the First Nations room, and that's room 123. And this is open to all students and staff, and no experience is needed. To all First Nations students interested in going on the Heritage Park trip, uh, the Red Bank trip on October 4th. If you are interested, please come to the First Nation room, which is room 123, to get your permission slip. We'll leave. So this is a scholarship message for all potential grads. So welcome to your grade 12 year. We are currently entering the first wave of scholarship opportunities for potential grads. First wave scholarships of national, our national scholarships open to all potential grads across Canada. The Lawrence Scholars Award is now available and OHS is able to sponsor three candidates. To be eligible you'll, for this scholarship, you need a minimum cumulative average of 85%, extensive community service, and extracurricular involvement. Yo, Sunny is fat! <laughs> All interested candidates, please come see Ms. Kakoski in Guidance on Friday, September 21st at 12 o'clock noon in Guidance for a short meeting to review the application process. This is the first of many scholarship opportunities that will come through at the school year, so make sure to keep tuning into the announcements and see any more as they come. To me, an ally is someone who listens and responds. Allyship is a commitment to learning. Noticing what's happening around you and the way that things are constructed. Willingness to be 
constantly educated and updated about current events that affect marginalized communities. You understand that the community that you belong to has done wrong against another community. Figuring out how best to interact with the world and the people around you in a way that's a little bit better. Making a continual, consistent effort to make change in the world. I think allyship definitely just strengthens the community and makes spaces feel more safe. So the buses are rolling in now. It's getting pretty noisy. It's about to be a ton of fun. Um, as of now, you guys would have already done camp class, so thank you all for coming. Hope it was a great time. And uh, that's all I have for announcements today. Yes. Yeah, have a great day. Have a good day, OHS. <laughs>